In this video, I'll be trying to talk about what I discovered concerning what might be the true ending, and which refer to the last part of what we saw in the trailer, that is to say, the three faces and the last uh, fight we have against um, Escriba. So, without further ado, this will contain a lot of spoilers and uh, might be showing a lot of how the debug mug works. So if you don't want to have any spoiler regarding that, uh, I advise you to leave the video now, otherwise I'll start right now. So, the first part has to deal with this room that I found, which is located in the... Uh, in the library. As you can see, this is a room where you're supposed to go through. Uh, this actually leads us uh, right where Dios Dado is. Dios Dado is the NPC who uh, wants you to do a quest to find a ghost and then rewards you with the wheel with uh, this, uh, the Young Mason's wheel, which is actually something that increases your speed but is not used as much in speedrun. But the most important part is this room right here, where we actually find uh, a new NPC uh, which we can call the traitor, I think. But uh, this NPC has a lot of dialogue, so I'll try to read that and I'll let you have your own ID. So he calls us the penitent one of the Silent Step, which refers to the Brotherhood of the Silent Solo, which is a brotherhood where every people, every part member of the Brotherhood have sworn a vow of silence. It's a approach this say uh, this face of pale gold with empty hollows in place of its eyes. As you can see this character does not have eyes. Uh, you stand before the roots of the knotted tree of the three words for this uh, for these form the bars of my captivity. So this was basically a face like the face that gives you the contrition uh, attrition stuff the um, sacred wounds but this one was held captive inside of the tree of the the, the tree of the three words uh, they claim that my words are false and that mine is fa is the face of deception and for this reason i have been exiled for my three other brothers the guardian visages uh, so those are the three um, the three characters i mentioned i mentioned before they betrayed me they punished me and ripped my eyes so i could no longer be a witness to the truth Although I cannot see, I feel the guilt in your hands, in the wounds of your fingers. May your compassion help you find my stolen eyes. For only then will I be able to reveal my secret to you. So this is the beginning of a quest where he asks us to, re uh, to gather two uh, different eyes. Uh, so then the dialogue goes on. I actually managed to find where the first one is. So if I go fight... Uh, it's, no wait, it's not that one. If I go where Isidora is, and go and manage to fight her, uh, she is going to give us one of the three eyes. Let's see if she does. Yeah, this boss is kind of buggy. I actually, if you want to sh see the fight against Isadora, uh, you can actually go and see my other video. Well, this doesn't <laughs> seem to work. But one of the eyes uh, is meant to be gathered when you kill Isadora. Uh, I'll just show it uh, right away. So let me just go back to this room. Oh, and yeah, because I fought Isadora, the game UI is actually going to be buggy. But uh, there is actually a command to add all items in your inventory. So. Right now, I have both. Um, where are the key items? I have both the severed right eye of the traitor, and if you see the lore, it actually talks about uh, Isidora. It's mentioned in the in the last three lines. But this one is pending translation, and when you switch back to Spanish, uh, it's said to be determined. However, the left eye of the traitor. Uh, might be something that is uh, that has to do with the snake uh, boss DLC uh, in the um, Morning and Havoc, the extension of the Ecos of Salt. Because in the trailer, I managed to find. Actually, let me let me show you something. There is actually this uh, sprite of a yellow orb that I didn't manage to find where it was, and uh, my guess is that. If you actually look closely at the Eye of the Snurp Serpent boss that we see in the trailer, this is actually very, very similar to this orb file that was present right near to the 
uh, Morning and Havoc uh, sprite sheet. So I have a highly, so I have high suspicion regarding the fact that um, this eye is actually the sprite for the serpent boss eye, and this eye right here, which is actually the right eye of the boss, might be one of the severed eye we should bring to the traitor. So, if I'm going back uh, to the traitor with the two eyes in of the in my possession in my inventory, I can actually give one of them, where the boss will the, the boss the you can see that he will have an eye that is coming into his face, and they say, "Oh, even in this place beneath so many floors, the light doth daddle me. Find my other eye, O merciful penitent one." So actually, what I can only do is just give give them the broken eye, broken left eye. I can see you, this place no longer blinds me. Now listen very carefully. In the most fervent souls, in the most devout hearts, lives the seed that lull the consciousness and control the will. Those they are links of the inv of invisible chain that hail from remote, sacred and forbidden places, from where the high wheels dwell. I am going to give you that which I have been protecting since I was banished from the dream. Here is the true heart of your guilty blade. And then they give us... Because I added all of the item, I actually think this is going to be the last uh, Mea Culpa Soul Heart that you can have. Uh, and then because of that, uh, they say that with it you can break... Um, with it you can break through the, what the miracle keeps hidden. Now cast off the chains from the soul uh, whose confession of faith and Grenhov uh, engrave on her helmet is the truest, most righteous and unwavering of all Custodia. So this is actually referring to uh, to Crescenta. Awaken the true guilt of your sword. So actually now what you want to do is you want to see what happens uh, when you uh, face Crescenta. And for that I'm going to show you another thing. So I am now on the save file that is right at the beginning of the game. As you can see I've not proceeded through many things, I just did, it was actually a failed speedrun attempt. But I wanted to have a file that is really close to the beginning of the game, like I didn't beat that many bosses. So I'm going to warp towards a new location, which we actually speculated on the official Discord server. So you might recognize it. So. This is in the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow, and this is actually the Mea Culpa Chapel. So we can see here there isn't anything um, present here right now. So we can't do m much about it. If we go out, we actually can't go back in there. And there's actually a new prayer called the Tirana of the Celestial Bastion. Uh, this might actually be the prayer that was showcased in the trailer. We don't know much about that. Uh, I can show you a bit around this area of the game, but unfortunately we do not have many uh, rooms available to us, as the next room, uh, the room next to this one, is actually going to be a room without any collision, so we can't go much further there. Uh, but there are actually um, some extension to the Brotherhood of the Silent Soul we might be able to go to go through. There are also some talking corpses, so... This actually refers to Crescenta, so I saw the lady, the penitent one of Golden Brocade, the one with the helmet whose visor shades her eyes as she watches the accursed and slowly setting sun. So yeah, there are actually a lot of stuff coming towards Crescenta. So now I'm going to switch back to a file that actually has bitten um, Crescenta. As you can see, this one is um, this one is a file that is ready to ascend. It's basically a 150% file. As you can see, I just lack some of the exploration percent. But I'm going to go back uh, to the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow, and because I did the execution of Crescenta on this file, I have uh, Crescenta that is right here. So if we talk to her, we, the, we have all this pending translation dialogue, but if we go back uh, and switch the game to Spanish, there are going to be, there are going to be some dialogues. 
So I was first thinking when recording a video about uh, uh, reading out loud the translation I made, but I'm just going to go with <laughs> let you read the translation because it was really not worth it. So here goes. So what I was planning to do now is was to actually, because I have, I'm going to add all the item in my inventory, I'm going to, um, and I'm going to switch back, uh, I'm going to, uh, is that there is one more animation that I didn't show you, and I'm going to go back to Secret Santa. And this actually doesn't do anything. But what I managed to find... Uh, and then there is this animation, which shows actually the penitent breaking some kind of seal uh, towards Crescenta. So maybe what's actually uh, what might be actually happening is the game wants us to kill Crescenta while we have that, so the execution might be a bit different. But I think there are going to be some stuff, because the last thing I wanted to show you is that when we go back, there is one last point where I want to teleport. So there was this last point, which is well, the last thing I wanted to show you, which is actually the last part of the game. So we see at first the three, the sacred visage, and this part is actually entirely redacted. I can't open any inventory, I can't do anything. This is actually showing us something, which is a new mechanic in this part of the game, is that you can actually launch back any fireball that is thrown towards you. Uh, because you will need to face a lot of those placeholder enemies. And this is actually the last part, we have the camera going to show something that is going to happen. But unfortunately, this is not in the game yet, so we just have this white fading and the game going silent. So I think I'm going to stop the video for now, and this is pretty much everything I found, and I think this is a really high note to end how, what the data mining made me able to find. But I hope that uh, you liked the insight that uh, we managed to find. I'm really hyped for the Woods of Eventide DLC and I can't wait for the end to happen. This is actually getting more hype, getting me more hype than just the trailer. So I hope you guys liked uh, this video and uh, I'm going to try to do a bit more blasphemous content videos. So be sure to leave a like or if you want me to try out anything with the different stuff that happened in the data mining, I actually put a lot of video and a lot of time into finding anything. So if you have any idea to test out something, be sure to hit the Blasphemous Discord server or the Blasphemous Speedrun Discord server and to discuss about that or leave a comment, whatever. But uh, yeah, I hope you like that, uh, those videos and uh, I'll see you 
I'll see you some uh, soon.